Welcome to Great Day at 9 a.m. everybody. I'm Scott Haney. I'm Caitlin Francis. You know, even though you're, you're not feeling so great, that Wine Wednesday was It was perfect. a little low. It was okay. Yeah, it was a little low. I gotta, I'm calling Dr. Abriola. Get ready for the phone call because it is coming. I, I know. You sat I, down. I, just, I, I was up the whole night coughing. It was, it's ridiculous. I Nine, uh, I, I went to bed. I took some NyQuil. Okay. And then the cough stopped. And then at 12.45, I woke up. The cough had come back. I took more NyQuil. And then I woke up like a zombie at 3 o'clock this morning. I know. That's I not I was like... Want Sorry. me to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like if you were a Wookiee. A Wookiee. A Wookiee. Isn't that what they are from Star Wars? Yes, Thank a you. Wookiee. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a little rumbly, more like a Brenda Vaccaro version of a Wookiee. There you go. You know who All Brenda right. Vaccaro is? No. No. She was a woman who was an actress, and she did uh, Tampax commercials. She was a wonderful woman. Okay. Uh, she might still be alive. There anyway. We'll Google it. <laughs> we'll Google it. Anyway. Oh, you, know, you don't have to Google? What? Our headlines today. Yes, let's do it. Yep. Nursing students from the Shuttered Stone Academy finally have their transcripts, but more than 90,000 clinical hours won't count because uh -oh. of missing information and forms that were not filed properly or mm. filled out properly. Uh, Stone suddenly shut down all three campuses back in February. You may remember that we reported on that. Yep. Connecticut's Office of Higher Education just wrapped up a meeting about transcripts and other programs for the students. So we'll hear more about that coming up at, on Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. Check the Channel 3 app for updates as well. A hearing will be held next week to figure out how 26,000 fake traffic tickets, 26,000 fake traffic tickets were given out by state troopers. Yeah, a state audit discovered the fake tickets. Lawmakers will hold a hearing about what happened next Thursday. State police members who are productive are often eligible for federal funded overtime, which means they may have been doing it to make more money. Now, some of the troopers may be facing felony forgery charges for writing them. Wow. So three of those troopers involved in the fake ticket scam have retired. Oh. One is still working. Oh. What are you going to do for a time? Well, anyway, there you go. But I thought it was I mean, a... They I, could still be charged. It's yeah. a federal charge. Yeah. So. And they should know that. They're state but I troopers. think they have to also deal with the statute of limitations, which might be running out for this. So I, I, I was watching Susan Raff yesterday. I'm not quite sure. But we'll keep... Five, yeah, five years. years. So we'll, okay. keep you, we'll keep you posted on that. And we'll so have all the information on the uh, yep. Channel 3 app. All right, let's talk weather. We are talking about the, a pretty good start out there. It's not horrendous. The Connecticut River still floods. That's the only warning that we've got in the state is for the Connecticut River uh, south of Hartford. And that will recede during the day today and tomorrow as we finally get some drier weather in here. Uh, early warning dual pull radar. Now, between the hours of about 10... And let's say noon, one o'clock, watch this. A little blip goes by to our south. It just might skirt the shoreline. I missed you, it. Yeah. Do you want me to go back? I yeah. can go back. All right, here we go. Ready? It's, you're right, though. It's tiny. Ready? Here it goes. This is 9 a.m. Oh. See it? Yeah. Yeah, it went right by. So that is moving out, and we should be under partly to mostly sunny skies this afternoon with fairly low levels of humidity. Now, the temperatures today, I think, are going to be a little bit better than this in the mid to upper 80s, and uh, we're talking about mid 80s for the shoreline. But there might be a period of more clouds than sunshine for the shoreline. Here's your three-day forecast. Partly sunny, decreasing humidity today. Comfortably warm tomorrow with increasing cloudiness. And then Friday, we're back to the unsettled weather. But it's short-lived. It's not going to linger into the weekend. The weekend at this point looks pretty good. And we'll have more information on that coming up a little bit later on in the show. All right, Governor Ned Lamont will sign four different bills into law that protect reproductive rights right here in Connecticut. The ceremony happening in just about an hour at 10 o'clock. And Lamont will sign four bills, each one expands reproductive rights protections. They're all a direct response to the Roe v. Wade decision being overturned by the Supreme Court. Hmm. The laws create legal protections for medical providers, allow pharmacists to prescribe birth control, increase access to care, and protect health data. All right. So uh, Chief Political Reporter Susan Raff will be attending the signing ceremony. She's, she's going to be busy today. Yes, very busy. She always is. Yeah, she always is. Yeah, and that's, again, just about 55 minutes. Uh, all the details will be coming up here on Eyewitness News at noon. All right. What's coming up?